A reading from the book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. And if any who have been bitten look at it, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Hearken, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter mysteries from old. Do not forget the works of the Lord. While he slew them, they sought him and inquired after God again, remembering that God was their rock and the Most High God their Redeemer. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues, though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But he, being merciful, forgave their sin and destroyed them not. Often he turned back his anger and let none of his wrath be roused. Do not forget the works of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness. And found in human appearance, he humbled himself becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, 
so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. At the risk of repeating myself a little bit from Sunday, we don't celebrate a cross. No more do we celebrate a guillotine, or a noose, or a hypodermic needle, or an electric chair. We celebrate the cross, the one cross through which salvation comes to the world. And the way we know that is through the power and the glory and the truth and the reality of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And it's only by the resurrection that the cross, which is otherwise hideous, becomes transformed into something that we can actually say we exalt, we can lift up and celebrate only in that way. But for those of us that actually contemplate Calvary, how, how hideous is it? How hideous is it? And without the resurrection, then any idea of redemptive suffering and vicarious atonement can't make any sense. It can't happen. There's no way. You can't, you can't see it. If all we see is Good Friday, we can't, we can't bear it. It's only in the light of the resurrection that the cross becomes transformed as a vehicle of salvation rather than of evil. And so we celebrate a feast day today, but we celebrate, if you like, the entirety of our triduum. And we give thanks to God for the salvation that we do have in Jesus Christ, who humbled himself even to death on the cross and knows now the name above every other name, and it's a name that we are privileged to share. Let us stand and pray.